Yo, what up? It's your man Rondell Jordan, aka the Black Swan. We in Belize. Yeah, man. And, uh, that's where our people at. Our family, man. The African, African American. They in Central America. See what I'm saying? And they mix with the indigenous would be considered in the Mayan, man. And uh, they're really short people, beautiful people, hardworking people, right? Mexicans is like a cousin. It's a blend here in, uh, in Belize. It's a blend of all kinds of different type of people. It's kind of um, like America where, you know, they got the Asians that own all the supermarkets and the corner stores in the market. They got the, uh, they got the Mexicans, the hard-working contractors, see what I'm saying? You got the, the Africans pretty much use, like, the bottoms, you know what I'm saying? The bottoms, man, service work. You got the, uh, you got the Arabs here, you see what I'm saying? You got, uh, the Mennonites own, you know, a lot of the property, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure there's a lot of, it's a lot, man, I just passed the Central Bank, you know? I got a video, I should put that in the video. But yeah, I'm out here in Belize, man. It's beautiful. It's rugged. It's real. It's tough. You know. Man, I met my man. Uh, uh, his real name, Jermaine. I'm trying to think what they call him. But man, man, my man. He's like shot. Shot nine times. Stabbed six times. Man, it's, you know, man. It's hard out here. It's cute. Six six people got shot uh, just like two days ago. Yesterday, somebody got shot, man. There's, there's like a bunch of bullets and stuff going on out here. Uh, the, the host called me, you know what I'm saying, make sure I was all right. I spent the night on the island. I just got a hostel. You know what I'm saying? I got, I spent the, my, uh, it's called Cape uh, Cacos, Kaioka, something like that. And, uh, you know, I stayed in a little hostel. You know, it's cool people, you know what I mean? People, you know, chiefing and, you know, chilling, messing with cats in Switzerland. My man, uh, Jermaine came up, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, he told me his story, his life story. Man, it's rough out here, man. It's rough out here, you know? I'm gonna continue to show you some pictures. You know, I'm gonna continue to show you, uh, you know, footage, how these people living. You can see, you can see it. You can see it on the other side of the ocean. I mean, well, that's the Caribbean Sea. But on the other side, I mean, you see, you know, and this is the this is the nice name. You know what I'm saying? They said this was like the the high society. Just you know, that's the Ramada right there. You see what I'm saying? But now, you know, they said a lot, a lot has changed, man, in the last 20 years, man. A lot of dirty politics. You know. You know, they got even people, they even, uh, they keep their houses looking destitute to avoid taxes. The tax burden can't afford the taxes on the property. So if the property don't look like it's together, the people still living in it, they like, how you going to tax somebody on an abandoned house? So, I don't know, man. I hope y'all enjoy. You know, I'm down here to learn, man. I'm down here to get cultured. See what I'm saying? To, uh, to, you know, see what's going on with our people. You know, our people are not free. All right? That whole emancipation stuff, we're still in the same type of situations. The difference is, is that it's the economic situation now. The economics got us so low on a, on a, on a scale, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, how you going to afford property, land? If you had a property, because here you can get land. If you was born here, they give you land. But they said the process of getting it is so difficult, people don't even go through it. Even the, the lady who owned the house that I'm standing in, she said the process is so difficult, she ain't going through it. And she got a $250,000 loan on her property because she got, she got hit in the head. She got hit in the head. And uh, she even tried to fight that in court and all kinds of stuff. Couldn't do it. But, yeah, man, it's tough out here, man. A lot of cats got deported from the states. 
And when they get institutionalized in the system, in the United States, the prison system, they bring that, the drugs, they bring the gangs, they bring that lifestyle because they've been basically doctors in the, in, the, in the crime game. And they come here and they just bring it here and they fuck up the neighborhoods and the communities with the drugs and then with the violence that ensue as a result of territorial disputes and jealousy and envy and all that kind of stuff. Because if you black out here, they say if you buy a property, somebody coming at you, man. My man said everybody he know who own the property is dead because cats be jealous and shit. You know what I mean? So, man, it's tough. It's rough. Went out, seen the club. You know what I mean? See the nightlife look like. The island was so small. It's just basically like just a community thing, man. It's like everybody in there, aunties, everybody, all different kind of races and all kinds of stuff. All right, man, I'm about to wrap it up, though, but I'm going to be concluding more footage, you know, and so you guys can see what's going on here in Belize because they don't even see a lot of black people, African-Americans. They see Africans. They see white people. They don't see us a lot. So we got to come out here and make sure we uh, show love, right? You know what I'm saying? Invest in the community, right? And then also... We got to, uh, you know, I'm talking about bring some, put some money in these people's pockets, right? That's all good for them. Get that economy going. And then um, we got to tell their stories, man, and let them know that we family, because that's how they treat us. All right, that's it. I'm about to get some to eat over here at Laura's Place. Talk to y'all later. Peace.